Hello and welcome to the Humble Seer. So let's talk uh, Chloe Kardashian and Tristan Thompson. It really should just be Chloe Kardashian and her significant other because as if you watch enough of my celebrity videos, you'll understand why I say that. But we'll throw him in there because that may be the uh, the man of the of the week for her. And I don't say that, you know, tongue in cheek. I mean, this person really shouldn't go anywhere near men. But I think that most of the Kardashian women should follow that advice. But they don't and they get into relationships and, you know, they're not that great. It's as if these people are, you know, they have some sort of spell on them and I don't know there it's just uh, the family is a train wreck but we're talking about her and her relationship Khloe Kardashian and this Tristan individual who is um not the smartest not the dumbest Tristan but not the smartest and frankly she isn't either but she's a little smarter than him and um Chloe is not a bad person per se. She's not a, a a wicked evil person. She's not trying to control. She's just trying to find her way. But it's never going it's not going to happen. It's never going to happen. She's never going to have any kind of relationships. Why? Because she's constantly working on herself, literally, mentally, physically. She will never be satisfied with who she is and what she looks like. She'll be like a Michael Jackson to the point where she won't have a nose or it will have to be taken off and put on, you know, every morning and cleaned out because it's it's a prosthetic. It's not a real nose. That's where she is, the direction that she's moving in, because the satisfaction of the body is not there. And the injections of things and the constant tweaking and staring in the mirror and thinking, I could just lift this up or move this around or take this out and put this here. It's a never ending story for this person, Khloe Kardashian. It's a never ending thing. And it's going to catch up to her and cause her major, major health problems. And I mean major. But we're talking about her significant, her and her significant other, her and Tristan. So let's get into the relationship and um, the overall, okay? So what is the overall? And we just hope that, you know, that uh, we don't want anything bad we don't want these surgeries and all of that. That's not what we're here for. But the reality is, is that if you don't know how to control yourself and you don't stop doing something, it's going to catch up to you and it's not going to be pretty. All right, so let's pull a card on the overall relationship. Besides it being, um, it is, what is the word? Passive aggressive. Okay. So we have the Four of Pentacles, and we know that the Four of Pentacles is about holding on tightly, not sharing. And this is the overall because, well, this is Chloe's, this is her take on men in general once she gets involved with them in the wrong men, of course. she, You attract what you are, and she is going to consistently do that full stop. It's never going to change. She's going to constantly, she will never work on herself and she'll never wonder why she attracts this type of person. And she'll sit down with all kinds of therapists and talk it through and even tell you a good game. But the reality is this woman will never change her choice of men. It's not going to happen. So she holds on tightly to them for dear life. And it, she looks like a fool to the public. It, the public views her as just um, a fool, not smart, bad choices, and they would be right. Okay, so let's pull a card on how does Chloe view Tristan? How does she view him besides knowing that he's no good? Scandal after scandal, hearing about things. It's like these men just do it because they can. They almost do it as a game. Because they do it in, in a sense like, okay, here's what I'm hearing. Plenty of these men would have been, could have been 
loyal. Yes, would have been and could have been loyal to a certain extent. But because she is who she is, it's like a nag. It's like a leech. And they're trying to, you know, get shake the leech and and they can't. And you know, the accusatory ways is it just, you know, you have you ever heard, well, if a person isn't doing something and you're constantly accusing them, well, they're just going to go out and do it. Meanwhile, you've been, you're the one doing it. So, but in this instance, it's, you're constantly accusing. That's you. That's Chloe constantly accusing and being that leech that won't come off it's a blood sucking leech and they're just like you know what all right but let's let's pull a card how how does she view them oh well that makes sense this is my celebrity card by the way for all you new subscribers this or viewers or what have you this hopefully subscribers though i would love to have you this is how she views them the nine of swords and I'm surprised the 10 of swords didn't come out cause it's ruined, but we're going to work with what the cards want to tell us. And the nine of swords is anxiety, distress. Okay. So that's, we know that. And that's beautiful that the card is just backing that up. We know that Chloe is distressed and in ruin about the relationships that she chooses to get into. She is an adult at the end of the day. She chooses and opts in is what I'm hearing. She opts into these relationships and then she destroys the men. But that's what the Kardashian women do. They are destructive. They destroy men. Period. Full stop. Okay, so how does Tristan view Chloe? And I'm going to shuffle a little bit more. How does how does Tristan view Chloe? Okay, so he views her as the Four of Cups, dissatisfaction, boredom, unhappiness. I mean, <laughs> I don't think there's any more to say. You know, dissatisfaction, boredom, I'm irritation, just annoying. I'm adding those, but the the dissatisfaction and the boredom, unhappy, you know, uh, motivated to change. He's motivated to change. It's like I got a kid with you, and I just want to walk out the door and get away from you. But I love my child, and the, and he loves his child, and she loves her child too. But her love is not the appropriate type of love for that child. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. Please, if you like this video, consider liking, sharing, subscribing, and leave a comment below and tell me your thoughts. I like to, I read all my comments. So do, please consider doing that. And if you really like what I do, consider buying me a coffee. And that information is in the description box below. Until next time, you take good care and we'll talk again soon. Bye.